These are 10 of the most underrated sneakers in the world. Is that, do you think that's too dramatic? Yeah, you know, that might build the hopes up a little bit. Should I do it again? These are 10 of the most underrated sneakers in my opinion. Is that better? Oh yeah, that's better, that's better. What I think is underrated, you might just think is shit. And so I'm sure there might be a little bit of disagreement with this list, but that won't stop me from making this vid, nor should it stop you from watching it. So let's get into it. First up, we have these, the Nike Air Ships. Now you would have thought, given all the hype that we had in the recent past around the Air Jordan 1, that the predecessor to the Air Jordan 1 would have been extremely popular to no end. But the Airship has kind of flopped. I mean, there are colorways out there sitting right now as I speak to you. I mean, to be fair, the colorways that they have released have been kind of meh, nothing spectacular. Actually, I'm supposed to be selling these as underrated. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. The colorways are so simple and so easy to wear and the quality is fantastic. These are being slept on. Do you know what? I think that might change with the upcoming Every Game colorway because this is the first really nice looking colorway and the addition of the premium looking suede material and the storytelling details, I think will definitely put this particular colorway on people's radars. The next model I want to talk about are the Air Jordan 2 Low. Now I'm sure we can all agree that the Air Jordan 2 did not take off in the manner that Nike had hoped. And no matter how much you might try to polish a poo, it is still nonetheless a poo. But check it out. I feel like the Jordan 2 Low is probably the best example of a Jordan Low Top that is better than its high top counterparts. What do you guys think of that? There are a number of really nice Jordan 2 Lows out there and even some collaborations that are on sale currently. I'm thinking about these Shelf Life 2s that are really clean, really good looking materials and importantly, very wearable, especially for the upcoming summer months. I feel like people are sleeping on the 2 Lows. I have a pair of New Balance that I think are underrated. Now I know you're probably there thinking, how the hell are you gonna put New Balance as underrated? If anything, they are overrated or at least suitably rated given the fact that they have completely blown up this past two or three years. But the pair that I'm thinking about are these, the 1906D Protection Packs. Now you guys remember the 2002R Protection Packs, especially the grey pair, can be singled out as one of the sneakers that helped to bring about this New Balance wave that we are still in the midst of. These 1906D Protection Packs, especially the white colorway, are still sitting, they're everywhere, and I personally feel like this is a better looking model than the 2002 are. It's probably a reflection of the New Balance fatigue that we're experiencing that these are sitting, but I feel like they're underrated. Nike Air Penny Ones. I'm sure there are so many old heads out there that are just unwilling to put up with the disrespect of seeing an Air Penny One going on sale. Penny Hardaway is one of the best basketball players ever to not quite realize the full potential of his career because of injury. And I feel like he has one of the best Nike signature basketball lines outside of MJ, Kobe, KD, Kyrie. Okay, his, his stuff isn't the best, but it's pretty cool. Underrated ASICs. Now ASICs, a little bit like New Balance, have definitely come onto the scene thanks to the popularity of the chunky dad shoe running trends. I'm trying to say that the ASICs Gel Sonoma 1550 Future Trail are a low key sleeper, particularly in the all black colorway or any of the just straight up neutrals. These look like the sneakers that inspired the likes of the Balenciagas. And instead of paying those outlandish designer prices or ostensibly supporting all those dodgy extracurriculars. You can find these future trails sitting in a full size run in certain colorways on the ASICS website right now. Next up on the chunky dad shoe trends, I wanna to point to a couple of other alternatives to the very popular, very trendy Nike Vomero 5. They are pushing out the Vomeros on a weekly basis, just jackhammering the living daylight out of this trend. And so if you don't want to look like a lemming, check out the Nike P6000s. These have that early 2000s dad shoe running vibe about them. There are some really cool colorways and they are floating around, man. You can find these in the stores and you can find some older, more vintage pairs on the Ebays and in thrift stores. Very cool dad shoe that at this point in time is just transitioning from being underrated to rated. Now, if you wanna take the dad shoe to the next extreme, you can look at these other Nikes. These are the down 
downshifters. You can get the downshifter 2 or the downshifter 3. The downshifter 2 are really hard to find in stores. This is the type of pair that you're likely to find in the bottom of a bin or on the back shelf of a thrift store or in a garage sale or online somewhere. But these are like your dad's dad's shoes. These are the type of shoes that if you wear, you are invited to cookouts to man the barbecue by people you don't even know. Let me get back into my wheelhouse with 90s basketball sneakers and a model that is very much slipped on, in my opinion, are the Flight Light Mids. I can remember Scottie Pippen doing the damage in these in the mid 90s and I always wanted a pair when I was younger. There are some really nice clean simple colorways and they just reek 90s. They're available in most places right now and you might even find places that are carrying them on sale and if you're willing to look on the used market you can pick these up for steals. Another underrated basketball sneaker that I have spoken about before and is kind of common knowledge at this point but still worth a mention, Air Flight 89s. These come with the same sort of tooling as the Air Jordan 4 and because the Air Jordan 4 is starting to feel a little bit rinsed and played out now, these are a really attractive alternative. Again, it's the type of sneaker that you're going to find sitting in retail stores right now. Used pairs are going to be going for way under retail and it's one of those shoes that when you see someone else wearing them, you actually at that point realize how cool they are. So why not not be that person. Not the person looking at them, the person wearing them. The last model I want to talk about is another Air Jordan and it is the Air Jordan 7. Why does the Air Jordan 7 get so little love? Is it because of just how simple it is? Is it the lack of air units? It can't have anything to do with MJ because he was arguably at his peak when he was wearing these. Like Jordan 7s are straight up comfortable and there are a lot of colorways out there that go for way under retail. The OG Cardinal 7s are sitting on sale in a lot of places. And so I don't understand exactly why, but I think the Jordan 7s are massively underrated. What do you think? And there we go. There is today's episode 10 sneakers that I think are underrated. I'm sure you guys probably have a number of sneakers that you think are underrated So feel free to let me know in the comments what your pairs are and let me know if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more I'm thinking of putting together a top 10 underrated Jordan 3 colorways video So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that and I will put it together for you Thanks as always for taking the time to watch feel free to subscribe if you haven't already done So do me a favor and drop me a follow over on Instagram as well And I will see you guys on the next video enjoy the rest of your week Weekend. Take care for now and peace.